We have breaking news that Chris Tanev has finally been dealt in a three-team trade. And we're going to break this trade all down for you coming up on this episode of Hattrick HQ. We're also going to get into what are the Leafs trade plans now that Chris Tanev is off the board. So make sure to stick around on this episode of Hattrick HQ. But before we get into it, just want to say that 77% of you guys watching this aren't subscribed. So if you're big hockey fans just like myself and Mark and everybody here at the channel, make sure to go down below and hit that subscribe button. We're on the road for 3,000 subscribers. We're getting so close. So if you're not subscribed already, make sure to down below and hit that subscribe button. But with that said, let's get right into the main topic of the video today, which is massive Tanev trade to the stars. And early on this evening, we did see from Pierre Lebron on Twitter, X, whatever you want to call it. He says, trade call still pending, but hearing Chris Tanev is being traded to Dallas. And then just moments ago, before we hit the record button, the full trade was announced. And as we take a look here, the Dallas Stars acquire Chris Tanev and Cole Bradley. The Calgary Flames receive Artem Grushnikov, a 2024 second round pick, a 2026 third round uh, conditional pick. And the third team involved in this deal was the New Jersey Devils uh, with a fourth round pick from the Stars for 2026, retaining 50% uh, salary on Chris Tanev for the rest of this season. And uh, if you're a Flames fan, you're wondering who Artem Grushnikov is? We're going to tell you all about him here. This guy's a 20-year-old... Uh, who's drafted in the second round by Dallas in 2021 entry draft. Uh, this season is playing with the Texas Stars in the AHL, where he has uh, five points out in 44 games. Before that, made a uh, home uh, in the OHL uh, in 65 games, putting up 17 points with the Hamilton Bulldogs. But the main event here is... Uh, Chris Tanev, and this is a guy who me and Mark know a lot about, I can tell you that for free. Uh, this guy, one of the shot block leaders in the NHL, 171 blocks through 56 games this season. 25 hits as well, uh, also with 14 points, 13 assists, 1 goal, and... We're going to get in, into our next one here, which is his contract. As we see here, uh, 4.5 million AAV, uh, obviously 50% retained from New Jersey in this deal. And uh, we're just going to take a look, an uh, early look at where we may see him slide in here uh, in a Dallas Stars jersey. My guess is probably that second line with uh, Essa Lindell um, in the defensive pairings. May see him slide up with Thomas Harley, who's shown to be a great defenseman here in the NHL this year. But Mark, I mean, this is a, this is a bit of a, out of right field here today. We weren't really expecting this. We did a Chris Tanev video earlier today. Wasn't expecting to see this, tra see this trade go true. But the Dallas Stars have really added a great defenseman here. Yeah, we've seen a lot of people just in the media on Twitter. We're just kind of talking about the stars just emerging as a front runner. Obviously, the Devils were a part of this, and Devils fans were hoping that they were going to be the one to get Chris Tanev. But with them kind of struggling, not being fully in the playoff picture, it seems like they're at the point now they've retained a bit. They got a fourth or fifth, whatever it might be, for retaining. Chris Tanev is going to the Dallas Stars at $1.1 million. This is a low cap hit. This guy is going to be outstanding on the Stars. He puts his body on the line. If you search up Chris Tanev puck in the face, you'll probably see 70 videos just from this season of him throwing his face out like Doug Glatt right on the goal line, taking the puck in the face to save a goal. This guy is an absolute just veteran, and he's outstanding. I can't talk about him enough. Obviously, Leafs fans are quite sad about it. Canucks fans are going to be sad. But the Stars got a great guy. Now, when you look at Calgary, they got a lot of pieces, too. It looked like their asking price was a first. A lot of teams weren't looking at moving a first, especially for a UFA, a guy that might not sign. But the big thing is they get a uh, prospect back, which is more of a defensive defenseman. He's a guy that, when I was looking Looking at his prospect reports, it was a guy that's really good, just kind of taking the weak side guy, great at intercepting pucks, breaking things up with his stick, his body. Just overall, he's going to be a good defenseman. He's a guy that you could probably put in a shutdown pairing. He might not be ready in the next year or two, but if the Flames are going into a retool, a rebuild, whatever it might be, he's going to be a good piece for them, and maybe he makes the team in the next two years. Maybe he becomes a new franchise defenseman. Who really knows with guys like this? And they also get the second round and third round. So it might not be a first round per se, but they do get first round value in a trade. Dallas gets their shutdown defenseman to help them push for their big playoff run. Obviously, they have Jake Ottinger, so maybe they don't need as much defenseman as they have. But it never hurts to add in guys, especially Chris Tanev. That's a real playoff guy, a guy that knows how to perform in the crunch time. And I think the Stars got quite a good player. And as a Canucks and Leafs fan, I'm quite sad that neither of these teams got him.
Yeah, I'm really excited for the Calgary Flames in this deal. Obviously, like you said, they're kind of getting a 20-year-old Chris Tanev here in this deal. Kind of the same style of player, and it's great to see them get a great return on this. Obviously, don't want to lose out to a guy like this in free agency, so getting the return they got uh, is great. And like you said, the Dallas Stars are getting a beast here. They're getting a guy who's going to go to battle for you every night. This guy's a warrior. Like you said, he takes pucks to the face. He takes pucks all over the body. I mean, that guy got some lot of bruises on him and I mean this is great for the Dallas Stars obviously trying to make a Stanley Cup push to try to get you know Pavelski and Ben and all these guys uh Stanley Cup uh, again before you know they all retired a little bit of an aging team here and I think adding Chris Tanev really solidifies their defensive core going into this playoffs and like you said they have one of the best goaltenders in the league in my opinion in Jake Ottinger so I really do think these guys are going to have a great playoff run come playoff time yeah, the big thing is you get Chris Tanev, he can slide straight into that second pair and he can play on your first, your second penalty kill. You're not going to throw him on the power play, but overall, you get a guy that you know what you're getting. He's going to shut down the opponents. He's going to put his body on the line. Yes, you risk the possibility of letting him walk in free agency, but with the Stars being on such a run this year, they're looking great. They've looked great for the past couple of years. Maybe this is the missing piece that they've been looking for. They pick him up and just hope that they do make it to the Stanley Cup Finals again, and hopefully come out victorious this year if they have Chris Tanev. Yeah, I definitely have to agree with you here. And moving Yanni Hakimpa to that third pairing is just crazy to show how deep they are. I mean, this guy has been a beast for them over the years as well. I really like their defensive core right now. They got a young guy up there in Thomas Harley who's been showing so much improvement this season. And I'm really excited for this team. And I really do think that they will go on a good run here. They got the goaltender to do it. They got the offense to do it. And we definitely know they have the defense to do it now. But, I mean, this is just such a great trade for Dallas, a great trade uh, for the Flames as well. I think, you know, it's kind of a, a win-win for both sides. Yeah, it's a big thing. And you have a guy like Heiskanen that's going to be perfect on the penalty kill with Tanev. Honestly, in my opinion, two of these guys on the penalty kill together, they might anchor down one of the best penalty kills. Both guys are shut down. Heiskanen's more uh, a guy that can put up points. But overall, two of these guys and what Tanev can teach these guys. I mean, you look at the Vancouver Canucks, the media has just been kind of talking about the players and how much they've raved about Tanev, saying he's like a father figure. He'd be the first one to go out with you, the last one to leave with you. This guy is going to be a huge mentor for this team where the team is kind of old but they have so many young pieces i think he is the perfect fit and i think the flames got out with a good package too like i said a second a third a defensive prospect they're kind of adding to the cupboard of draft picks uh, draft capital anything you can think of and they still have more pieces to move so i think it's a win-win for both teams and honestly it's quite exciting to see the flames retool and the stars just make their big push to win a stanley cup yeah i think we're going to see a big off season out of this calgary flames side whether it's with trades, whether it's in the draft, I think they're going to make something happen here this summer to kind of salvage this team they have there and really come back stronger next year. Really excited for both these teams to, uh, you know, going forward and they're Dallas is going to be such a fun team to watch come playoff time. Can't wait to see it happen. But we're going to get to the second topic of the video, which unfortunately we have to talk about, Mark. And that is the Leafs' deadline plans have now shifted that Tanev is off the board. I want to be the first to uh, send my condolences out to Leafs Nation here. Obviously missing out on a great defender here, but... I mean, there is a bright side to this. There are still a lot of great right-handed shot defensemen or a lot of defensemen still out there on the on the trade board that you guys can now go acquire for a little bit of a cheaper price, in my opinion. Guys, we've talked about Mario Ferraro, Nick Sealer. Uh, I think this is where, you know, Bratch Living and the Leafs are going to land here. Yeah, because you can go out there. Sean Walker on the Flyers as well. You said Sealer. There are two options just from the Philadelphia Flyers themselves. You have Alex Carrier that we did a video on. These guys are all great. I know Ferraro might cost more than Tanev because you do get him for the three years in uh, just kind of regards to the other guys that are UFAs. But the big thing with this, this almost sets the goalie market. Or, sorry, the defensive market. You see Tanev go for two picks, a second, a conditional third, and then a prospect that might not be their best prospect. So maybe you see a guy like Sean Walker, Shear, maybe a guy like Alex Carrier could just kind of go for maybe a second and a pick 
or a prospect. Maybe it's a third and a prospect. I don't think it's going to be a lot of first round picks thrown around on guys uh, in this trade deadline because you've seen what Tanev's package was. He's the most veteran guy out of all of them. He has the most experience. So maybe the Leafs can squeak out a deal at deadline for a third and a prospect. And I don't think they're going to have to give up anyone too big to bring in one of these guys. Yeah, I definitely have to agree with you there. I think True Living and the Leafs have a good plan. In Tree, we believe, as you could say, I mean, this guy. I mean, he's a great GM. He's showed it over the years, and I think he has a solid plan going in here. Obviously, they, Tanev was their number one guy at some point, but that may have changed, and nobody really knows about it. But we're going to keep you up to date on everything that happens here around the Leafs. I mean, I'm sure uh, there's going to be multiple reports and stuff coming up now. And like you said, the floodgates have opened. The defensive market is set. I think we're going to see a lot of trades come out here over this next week, and we're going to keep you up to date on all of them. And I'm really excited for trades deadline this kind of gets me fired up for it mark i mean this trade is, is a fun one it's going to be fun to see and definitely fun to see what the leafs do here at the deadline yeah because the big thing is every team is kind of looking at all these available right d all these available lefty just every defenseman in general and saying hey who's going to make the first move who's going to set the market and the dallas stars did this as i said you can go out and get sean walker who's currently playing on the first penalty kill for the flyers carrie is playing on the first penalty for nashville these guys are obviously not chris tanev they are close to him but obviously not as good defensively whatever it might be but i think with setting the market we're going to see a domino effect we might see sean walker trade it while we're recording this then we're going to look a little stupid and then you'll see a second video come out but overall it's just a matter of time between now and next friday when we see these deals done i don't think it's if it's going to be when they all get moved yeah definitely we're we're almost a week away from the trade deadline everything's starting to ramp up here and i'm really excited to see what happens going forward here with the leafs i'm sure they will make a move come trade deadline i'm really excited to see what they do here and like you said now that the market is set you know there's going to be a lot of calls made tonight over the weekend to try to land some guys here in toronto but we want to hear from you guys down in the comment section what are your thoughts on this chris tanev trade and who do you think the leafs top target is now that Tanev is off the board let us know down below in the comment section we're gonna get everybody's favorite topic which is comment of the day and the comment of the day today goes to Baba O'Reilly he says about Noah Chadwick he said kid might break Gogolev's growler single season goals record and yeah that was set last year but Pavel Gogolev on the growlers I believe he scored 33 goals uh, in the ECHL with them last year I have to give Gogo a little shout out here on the channel I mean he was so good for our hometown team the Newfoundland growlers last season and I mean I'd love to see Noah Ch Chadwick on the growler I mean we might be a little, it might be a little bit homer of us to see uh, such a great defenseman drop to us here in the East HL, but I mean the Growlers have a good team this season. Looking like they could go on a nice Kelly Cup run, maybe, maybe. We're gonna we're gonna be cheering for them. We'll be down to the rink uh, cheering for these guys come playoff time. But uh, appreciate your comments. Lo 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 love to see all your guys' support down in the comment section. But uh, and if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you down below hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. We're gonna be here all trade deadline, keeping you posted on every trade that happens. So make sure to go down below, hit that subscribe button. Ring the post notifica uh, no notification bell to make sure notifications are turned on for when we post. We're close to 3,000 subscribers. Really appreciate it. If you guys aren't subscribed already, go down below, hit that subscribe button. And if you want to check out a video we did earlier today, make sure to click uh, uh, click the video that's popping up on your screen right now. But as always, I've been your host, Casey, alongside my co-host, Mark Pye. Keep your stick on the ice.